birthday is Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we are going to talk about a topic because somebody DM'd me on Instagram and asked for my advice. And I gave them my advice in my DMs, but I figured I should film a video on it because... Oh, so many of us struggle with trust and what to do when trust is breaking. Breaking? What? Broken. Especially because in today's world, like, there's a whole load of TV shows and situations that talk about cheating and stuff like that. So it's just become so common and the complete norm to either cheat or to know somebody that's been cheated on or all of these kind of things. So what to do when the trust is broken and this is something that is so subjective and completely down to each person and each relationship because everyone is different and everyone's needs and values are different and everyone's dynamic in their relationship is different so like even when I responded in my DMs I found it kind of hard to know how to give any advice especially without knowing the person personally you know and even when you know people personally it's still hard to give advice because they may not take it anyway they may not understand what you're saying like it's all perception so for me personally what I feel like is if trust has been broken and I've definitely experienced this in my whole life kind of thing <laughs> if trust has been broken then you need to Take some space for a second, right? Take a breather for a second. Go sit by yourself and really get clear on what it is that you want. I feel like we should be doing this anyway in all areas of our lives, regardless of whether trust is broken or not. Like, you take some space, sit by yourself and get really clear on what you want in a relationship. Like, forget about who they are and what they've done. What do you want? What do you need? in your relationship what are your boundaries what are things that you will and won't accept um what are things that you love like what are your non-negotiable things your standard that you will not settle below you know like what do you actually need in a relationship and get really really crystal clear on those things so for example it could be you need somebody that has a job and some people won't care if you have a job or not, but for some people it may be essential. Like it could be that they need to be spiritual, or it could be that you need them to be religious, or you need them to not believe in a religion at all, or it could be, um, I don't know, a non-negotiable. You need them to be kind and caring. You need them to get on with their parents and to be family oriented. Like, what is your non-negotiable where you cannot accept anything less than these things, you know? Like, we all need to have a standard of non-negotiable things, otherwise we'll just end up welcoming anybody and everyone. <laughs> so, once you get clear on those things, you know where your bar is, you know what you're working with kind of thing. So then you can look at your relationship and be like, okay, did this person cross one of my non-negotiables? Or did they cross something that I didn't set as a non-negotiable? It's something that hurt me, but it's not something that I um, will completely hate and destroy me kind of thing. Like, is it something that's really, really serious, or is it something that like, even though it hurts, you can eventually work through it, and you're willing to work through it. I think like that's the foundational main thing, is like, is it something that you can work through? Are you willing to work through that, or not? Because if it's crossed something that's just too far beyond, and you just will never ever be able to look at them the same again, or you will, you'll always be thinking about it, once you carry on in the relationship like if you'll always be thinking about it then there's just no point because like you're not going to be able to move forward you're not going to be able to have a, an open and honest and loving connection you're not going to be able to be vulnerable with them if you're constantly thinking about what they did you know and that's not your fault that's their fault because they're the ones that did it but if it's always going to be eating at you then how can you move forward 
you know so you need to decide whether it's something that you're willing to work through or not and once you've decided that if you're not then obviously you would go your separate ways and I have videos on that too so if you want to check that out you can but um if you decide to stay and you feel like you can work through it then I feel like personally it's a case of okay now I need to set my boundary and explain why this hurt me how it made me feel and what I need now in order to be able to build the trust like what do you need from the person now in order to build this trust back up you know and I think it's just about an honest conversation because that's all relationships are it's just conversations it's communication so communicate with them tell them what you need tell them how you feel but also be open to listening and finding out why they did it like where their emotional and mental state was at when they behaved this way and did this thing is really key to find out because if you find out that they just weren't thinking about you they didn't give a shit about you and and that kind of thing then maybe you need to consider whether it's worth even working at it and trying again because if they're not going to bother to think about you then why the hell they're with you in the first place you know so I don't know I think it's just important to really have this conversation and be willing to listen and also be willing to express yourself and how you feel and just have a respectful conversation because if you love each other which I assume you would otherwise why are you together but if you love each other then there should be that mutual respect there you know to be able to have a conversation and obviously if they behaved a certain type of way then they have disrespected you so this is why you need to have this conversation and find out why they thought that it was okay to go and disrespect you in that way and then once you have this conversation and you get clear on why they did it how you felt and you've said what you need it's then a case of just letting them do it let them give you what you need let them try let them prove to you that you are who they want and that they're willing to work through it and change that behavior and never do it again you know like you have to give them the space to actually prove it otherwise it's never going to work either but that also doesn't mean to give them so much space that they just don't give a fuck <laughs> you know and then they're just not even sorry like so there's a, a fine line but I think it's definitely key to not actually um like hang on to this because if you hang on to this pain and you hang on to this betrayal you're never going to fix things and you're never going to move on together as a team so it's really important to get on the same page and decide okay are we going to work through this and if you make that choice to work through this then you cannot hold the past against them you have to be able to work through it together and get past it and let it go you know that doesn't mean you forget but it does mean that you take the lesson together and you move forward and then you create new memories and you both do better you know so it's just down to you to be honest it's down to each person do you want to move through this do you think it's possible are you willing to try because relationships are work like they're hard work so are you willing to put in the effort and if you are then do it do it together and communicate it and then see where it leads and you may get down the road and realize that this is not working or maybe they're not trying or maybe you realize that you don't actually want to try you know and like you're, you've had enough and you've realized after trying a little bit that it's just not it like anything's possible and anything can happen and we don't own people so try see if it works see how you feel pay attention to how you feel because how we feel like there are signals and our road signs or indicators telling us that something's wrong or something's right for us so pay attention just see how you feel and then decide from there you know like you can't predict the future just i mean i suppose some people can but whatever you just see how you feel and then go from there and trust yourself just because you they've broken trust with you doesn't mean that you lose trust with yourself so trust yourself and how you feel and decide what you want to do because at the end of the day there's no right or wrong answer you know you could choose to stay with them and then later on down the road it doesn't work out but you've still created many memories you've still learned valuable lessons like you've got a lot out of it so you don't lose anything because even when they're gone you've still got you so you don't lose anything and if you decide right now that it's not it and you don't want to pursue it you don't want to try then 
let it go, you know, and you haven't lost anything because you've got memories, you've got lessons, and then say, if it's supposed to be and you're supposed to get back together, then you never know, like, years down the road, you might reconnect and be in completely different spaces to where it will actually work. So, like, we can't rule anything out, anything is possible, but the key is trusting yourself, being clear on what you want, who you are, what you like, what you require, and setting your boundaries and your standard, and then communicating it, listening to what they have to say, and then trying, and just see where it leads, you know? So I hope this video was helpful. You can always leave a comment, DM me on Instagram, or you can text or WhatsApp me. All of that will be in the description box below. If you have any other topics or any problems, anything that you want to talk about, like I'm always here and I'm willing to give advice, even if people don't take it. And sometimes I give advice and then I'm like, oh shit, that is the advice that I needed, you know? So <laughs> it kind of helps me in the process. But yeah, all my social media, everything will be in the description box below, or my phone, as well as my music and my merch and so, so much more will all be in the description box below. So definitely reach out if you want to share anything or if you have any video topic ideas. And yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload three times a week and I will see you in the next video. I need to stop talking so fast. Let me slow down. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think he like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, I think he like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, I think he might. I'm the thing he like me, my range all white. Oh, yeah, I think he might. I'm the thing he like me, my range all white.